Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at placing text along a spiral path in such a way that the text actually gets smaller the further it goes around the path. Before we begin this tutorial, let me introduce you to my Illustrator courses at Udemy and at Skillshare. There are coupons in the description below for all of my Udemy courses and also a sign up deal for Skillshare that gets you access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. Please feel free to share these coupons with family and friends. So returning back to Illustrator, let's get started on this process. We're going to start by drawing a spiral. Now, as I'm drawing the spiral, I'm going to hold the space bar down so I can move it and I'm also going to rotate it so that it is going to look a bit like this so that the text will start over here. Then I'm going to go to my type tool. I'll click on the path because that gets me access to this type on a path option. If you're having a bit of trouble with that, just go and select type on a path so Illustrator knows exactly what it is that you're trying to do and then just type your text. And at this point, you may want to resize your text so you get an idea as to perhaps how big you want your text to be ultimately. I've used 100 points, which is telling me that I can easily get much larger before I get smaller to wrap around. So it's giving me a sort of idea as to what this is going to look like ultimately. Now there is no tool in Illustrator that allows you to size your text. So what we're going to need to do is go and get a script. And I found the script for you. So we're going to head to the web. So let me just fire up Chrome. I'm going to give you a link to this Adobe forum, but basically it's forumsadobe.com forward slash thread forward slash 1414597 and that'll get you to this script. I'm going to show you how you can actually get hold of the script and what you do with it. You can grab either of these elements here. They're exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is just drag over the entire script. So you just want from the beginning forward slashes and you want to include those all the way down to the end there and you're just going to right click and choose copy. Then you need to go and get a text editor. So on the PC I suggest that you use either Notepad or WordPad. So I'm going to use WordPad and I've got a brand new document here. I'm just going to paste that code in. That's all you need to do at this stage. Now, if you're on a Mac, you'll have an application called Text Edit. So just go to your Applications folder and look up Text Edit, and then you can do exactly the same thing. You're going to paste in this code, and then you're going to save it. So I'm just going to click here on Save. I'm going to my Downloads folder because here I have a folder of AI scripts. So I'm just going to select that, and I'm going to give it the exact same name as it originally had, which is Car Size change from first to last, etc. So let me just go ahead and type that. Now you can use the extension JS or JSX, it doesn't matter, but you are going to save it as a text document. If you're not able to save it as a JSX, just save it as a TXT file and then go and rename it. But I don't need to, so I'm just going to click Save here. And then I'm going to close this don't need it any longer and I can also do away with my browser window. Now you're going to need to install this script which means going back to your downloads folder or wherever it is that you've saved it, right clicking and copying the script and then go and locate your Illustrator folder. So that's going to be on your computer. It's going to on a PC be on your C drive in Program Files, Adobe, and then go and select the version of Illustrator that you're using for me, that's CC 2019. I'll go to Presets and then English, US or whatever your language is, and then go to Scripts and I'm just going to paste it in here. Now you have to do that this way because you probably can't save the file from WordPad direct into that scripts folder. It's just something that is peculiar to the Windows PC. Now on a Mac you'll find that same location but it's going to be in your Applications folder. So go and select your version of Illustrator and then Presets your language and then Scripts. Now at this stage you're going to need to save your document, restart Illustrator and bring the document back into Illustrator because that's going to make it easier for you to experiment with this script. I'm going to do that now. So I've now saved the document, restarted Illustrator and so the script's going to be in my scripts folder. 
to be able to use the script, you'll go to the selection tool and just click on your type. Now it's really important that you have the selection tool selected and you don't have the type tool selected or it's not going to work. So with the type selected with the selection tool, you'll go to File and then Scripts. And here is the script that I saved. It's going to appear in this list if I saved it in the correct place and I restarted Illustrator. So I'll just click on it once. If you haven't got the right thing selected, you're going to see an error message. So just cancel out of it, go and select the right thing and try again. Now I get to choose the size of the first character. Right now this is 100 and I know that I can get much bigger on the first character. So I'm going to set my first character at this stage to 200 points and I'll click OK. And now I set the size for the last character and I'm going to make that 80 points and click OK. Now I don't know how that's going to work. I'm just assuming that it's probably something that I want. And if it's not what I want, then I'm just going to try again. So with the type still selected, I'll just go back and go and run that script again. Now I like the starting size of 200, but I may want the ending size to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to bring it down to 30 points. Now at this stage, if I like this effect, but just want to wind it around the spiral a bit further, then I have all the tools for working with text on a path in Illustrator. So I'm just positioning my mouse over this bar at the beginning, and I'm just going to push the text around because I like the effect, but I want it to be spiraling a bit quicker. And then with the entire object selected, I'm just going to rotate it. Now this is not a perfect solution, it's just a pretty good solution. You might think that at the very end of the type, everything's getting a little bit close. So I'm selecting those letters at the very end of the word. I'm going up to the character panel and I'm going to increase the tracking for these characters. So I'm going to spread them apart a little bit further, just so that there's a little bit more room for these letters at the end of the sentence. So I'm just taking it up a little bit. You can experiment with those settings to get a look that you like. But this is a way of sizing text around a spiral using a script. And of course, it's going to work just the same if you have just a regular piece of text. So I've just created a regular piece of text here. It's got a size of around 53 points. With it selected, I'll go and run my script again. I'm going to start the type at 100 points and I'm going to finish it off at 25 points. And so we've got this scaling down of our type effect, but of course you can also do it with type that's on a path. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial.